Hi guys, welcome to Bear Paw Yoga. My name is Julie Ann and I'm one of the instructors here at the studio. Today I'm gonna lead you through a nice simple sequence to ease into your day, to rejuvenate the body after a day out on the mountain or out in the trails or simply to calm the mind and relax the body. We'll start the practice in a nice and comfortable seat, so cross-legged seated position. I highly recommend here to sit on a rolled up blanket if you have one at home. And this is to elevate the hips so that the hip flexors can relax and the knees can drape a little lower than the pelvis. From here, relax your hands on your laps, palms facing up or down, whatever feels comfortable. Slide your hands a little closer to your hips just so that the shoulders can relax. From here, close your eyes. Feel your sitting bones deeply rooted into your blanket. And as you inhale, grow taller from the spine as you lift and pull from the crown of the head. Take a nice big inhale through your nose. As you exhale, roll the shoulders down your back. Take about five deep breaths here, taking that moment to calm the mind, tune into the body so that you can have a mindful practice and get the most out of your stretches. Nice big inhale from the bottom of the belly up into the rib cage. From the top of your inhale, slowly exhale through your nose. And keep breathing like that. Nice and gentle inhales and exhales. Take one more full breath in and let it go. Beautiful, now gently open your eyes. Ground your right fingertips by your side. As you take a big breath in, reach your left fingertips overhead, find that nice length through the left side body. As you exhale, bend over to the right. Use your right hand here to press into the mat and ground your left sitting bone deep into your blanket. Keep using your breath here as you inhale, reach up. As you exhale, get a little deeper through your stretch. Take one more nice big breath in and full exhale. Come back through center, switch your hands, reach up first, big breath in. Exhale, bend and reach over to the left. Come back through center, reach both hands overhead and bring the hands through your heart center. From here, gather your knees together and then wrap your left arm around your knees. Take a deep breath in, reach your right arm overhead. As you exhale, reach behind as you twist and open to the right. See if you can gaze all the way at the back wall and complete the twist in the neck. Keep the breath nice and fluid, using the inhales to find that nice length through the spine and the exhales to twist. Come back through center, switch your arms, wrapping the right arm around your shin. Reach up first, deep breath in. As you exhale, twist and open to the left. back through center and then from here find a kneeling position you might want to use that rolled up blanket on your calves here underneath your sitting bones if you have sore knees and then from here grab something that looks like a yoga strap at home you might you might find a scarf a towel or a dog's leash whatever looks like a strap and then grab your strap at about three feet distance between your hands as you inhale bring the strap overhead and as you exhale, let it fall behind your back. Nice big stretch for the front of the shoulders. Inhale, bring the strap overhead. And exhale, let it fall in front of you. 
Now option here to adjust your stance. If you're looking for a little bit more intensity, shorten the distance between your hands. If you want less intensity, widen the distance between your hands. And keep rolling the shoulders forward and back. Nice big full rotation of the shoulders into the shoulder sockets. Nice big stretch to the upper chest. Moving with your breath, mindful inhale as the strap comes overhead and deep full exhale as the strap falls behind. Let's do one more full circle. Beautiful. Release the strap. This time as you inhale, reach wide, reach overhead. Flip the palm and interlace the fingers behind your sacrum. Roll the shoulders up, back and around. Lift the chest, lift the chin. Deep inhale through your upper chest. Long and steady exhales. Bring the head back to neutral. Bring the hands to your right hip bone and bring the right ear towards your right shoulder. Slowly release the stretch. Bring the hands to the other side. And this time bring the left ear to the left shoulder. release the stretch. Moving from here to tabletop position, release the blanket from underneath your knees. In your tabletop position, make sure that the shoulders are stacked directly above your wrists and that your hips are stacked directly above your knees. Moving into a few rounds of cat-cow to invite the motion throughout the spine. As you inhale, flare the sitting bones, roll the shoulders back, pull the chest through and gaze up. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone under, roll the shoulders forward, tuck the chin and round the spine. Nice big inhale, gaze forward, lift the gaze. Exhale, round and gaze in. Keep moving at the rhythm of your own breath for a few more rounds of cat-cow. Complete one more round, then come back to a neutral spine. And then from here, extend your right leg behind, keep the toes grounded. Pick up your left knee, pivot on your knee 90 degrees, you ground your right heel to the mat, and then reach your right arm overhead. As you exhale, reach forward. Take one more deep breath in, full exhale. Reverse the motion, come back to your hands and knees. Take one more round of cat-cow to flush the spine. Deep breath in, gaze up. Exhale, round and gaze in. Come back to neutral and take it to the other side. As you extend the left leg, keep the left toes grounded. Pivot on your right knee 90 degree. Reach your left arm overhead and over to the front of the room. One more full breath in and exhale. Reverse the motion, come back to your hands and knees and take one last round of cat-cow. Feel free to exaggerate the movement as you inhale, gaze up. Exhale, round, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin around the spine. Come back to neutral. Moving from tabletop to child's pose, bring your big toes together and bring your knees as wide as the edge of the mat. And then sink your hips back. 
Walk your hands forward, spread your fingers wide and bring the forehead to the mat. From your child's pose, come back up halfway. Flip your left palm up and weave it underneath your right arm. Release onto the left side of your head. Invite your breath through the area behind your heart, behind your shoulders. Keep your breath nice and fluid. Slowly come back through center. Take a full deep breath in your regular child's pose. Then come back halfway up. Flip your right palm up and weave it underneath your left arm. Release on the left side of your head. And come back through center. Beautiful guys, now we'll take a short pause and I will see you right after. Welcome back to Yoga with Bear Paw. Next pose we'll move into is called Deer Pose and it's a very nice hip and glute stretch. So start with your right leg first, forward, and your left leg out to the side. Very important here that you create square angles with your knees and your ankles. So your shin is going straight across and your thigh bone is lengthways, your ankle is flexed. Same thing with your left leg. From here, bring your tented fingers on either side of your front knee and shift your weight onto your right glute. Take a moment here to feel that stretch in the right glute. And then as you're ready, crawl forward and melt your heart towards your knee. With every exhale, get a little deeper into the stretch. I invite you here to play a little bit with the angle of your upper body as you glide your torso from left to right and right to left. And notice how it changes the stretch in your glute and your hip. I invite you to find that sweet spot in your body that needs a little bit more attention today and soften right there. Keep your shoulders soft, your face soft, maybe even close your eyes and stay tuned into your breath. Come back up, second side, switch your legs. This time bring your left leg forward and your right leg out, creating those nice square angles with your knees and ankle. Tented fingers on either side of your knee. This time switch your weight on your left glute. And as you're ready, take your time, slowly melt your heart towards your knee. Feel the stretch in the left glute. And then from here again, play with the angle of your upper body and notice how it changes the stretch from the glute to the hip and find that sweet spot again on the second side. Come back up, bring your right leg forward, setting up for diamond shape. Bring the soles of the feet together and the knees wide. 
Grab your ankles and take a moment to roll the shoulders back and pull the chest forward. And then from here, hinge forward, leading with the chest. Option to keep your hands on your ankle or to slide your hands underneath your shin and grab your ankles. From here, allow the spine to round and the crown of the head to fall towards the soles of the feet. Beautiful, slowly roll on up, one vertebrae at a time. Feel that stacking of the vertebrae. And then from here, extend the legs forward. Cross the right foot over your left. Wrap your left arm around your right knee and bring the knee in a little closer towards your left armpit and feel that nice stretch in the right glute area once again. You might want to stay here or you might want to add a twist to that. If you choose to add the twist, go ahead and reach overhead, deep breath in. As you exhale, tend to your fingertips behind you and gaze at the back wall. Come back through center. Bring the hands behind you. Keep the right ankle on top of the left knee and bring the left foot a little closer. Figure four. From here, keep working your right knee away from your upper body. And if you're looking for a little bit more, press into the hands, lift the chest, and bring the left foot a little closer. Extend the left leg forward, switch your legs, extending both legs forward. This time cross the left foot over your right. Wrap the right arm around your left knee and bring it a little closer towards your right armpit for that nice stretch to the left glute. Maybe stay here or add a twist. If you add the twist, go ahead and reach overhead and then reach all the way around and gaze back. Come back through center. Bring both hands behind. Keep the left ankle on top of the right knee as you bend your right knee. Energetically press that left knee away from your upper body. And with your fingertips, prop your chest very high, nice and tall spine. Extend both legs forward, moving into a seated forward fold. I invite you to use that scarf, towel, dog leash or yoga strap again and hook it around your feet. This way when you fold, you can maintain your spine nice and tall. Take a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, gently bend through the elbows as you lead with your heart and fold over your legs. on back up, release the strap, and then from here, roll all the way onto your back body. Bring the right knee towards your right rib cage. With your right hand, pull the right knee in. Give your hip a few circles just to open that hip flexor a little bit. And then bring the left hand to your right knee, right hand to the floor. On an exhale, guide your right knee across your body as you roll over your left hip bone into a gentle supine twist.
Slowly unravel from your twist. Extend the right leg forward and bring the left knee in. Use your left hand to pull the left knee in towards your left armpit. Give your, your hip a few circles here. Then bring the right hand to your left knee. Left hand on the floor. As you're ready on an exhale, guide your left knee across your body as you roll over your right hip bone and send your gaze to the left. Come back through center. This time bend both knees, bring both knees towards your chest. Round the spine, bring the forehead to the knees. And then release all the way onto your back for your final relaxation. Take a moment to roll the shoulder blades underneath your heart, giving your chest lots of space to breathe. Relax your feet, draping the feet away from one another. And relax the whole body heavy into your yoga mat. All right, beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you enjoyed. Have a very beautiful day.